Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, October 19th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. When it was all said and done, last year the 2015 Phoenix Europa Pro ended up being one of the most exciting contests of the entire season. And this year's event brought more of the same. After what turned out to be an action-packed weekend down in the scorching southwestern heat for the second straight year, the stage was covered with tread marks thanks to another standout performance from the tank himself, 212 monster Charles Dixon. The best Dixon came in and defended his title in a major way by holding off a strong push from second place finisher Guy Cisternino and a very solid third place run from Hide Yamagishi. Then for the second time in her third contest, Rookie bikini phenom Elizabeth Yisrael was able to end her evening in the winner's circle by delivering another dynamic showing. In women's physique, former NPC national middleweight champion Tomifafa Amika knocked it out of the park in her physique debut, soaring to an impressive win. And in fitness, Arizona native Sally Kendall Williams gave the hometown crowd something to cheer about as she brought home the hardware for the first time in her career. The Ferrigno Legacy Classic is right around the corner, and it looks like women's physique standout Kandria Judd Adams has plans of making her presence felt. Some recent progress photos show a very crisp looking Adams less than two weeks out from hitting the Ferrigno stage for the third straight time, where she'll be looking to keep her streak of top 10 finishes intact. It's been quite the year for the fourth year pro who snagged her first career win back in April at the IFBB Grand Prix and followed that up with a very strong appearance at the Olympia. When she's completely dialed in, Adams has the sort of muscle that really comes to life on stage. So if she's at the top of her game two weeks from now, fully expect to see her battling it out in the first call out. Three weeks after delivering a career best fourth place Olympia finish and silencing a whole lot of doubters in the process, the biggest man in bodybuilding doesn't look like he's missed a beat. Earlier in the week, new photos surfaced of a gigantic looking Big Rami, fresh off his most recent guest posing at last week's Sharu Classic. From the look of things, Rami's body has been making the most of these last few weeks, filling out quite a bit, but still managing to maintain a very impressive level of conditioning. I think it's safe to say that Rami has elevated his game to another level this year, and at least appears to be getting closer to maximizing that enormous potential. And with the Mr. Olympia Europe coming up this weekend, can this be Big Rami's breakout contest, where he establishes himself as the man to dethrone Phil Heath? Stay tuned. Big Rami isn't the only one killing it post-Olympia these days. Earlier this week, new training footage surfaced of a spectacular-looking Juliana Malacarney getting back to work at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym. The two-time women's physique Olympia champ was spotted getting her pump on during an arm training session as she starts to slowly work her way back into form. Despite a few challenges trying to throw rocks at her throne this season, the fact remains that when Juliana Malacarney is at the top of her game, there's no one in the women's physique division that can beat her right now. And given the fact that the champ still looks to be getting in there and training as hard as we've ever seen her, I can't imagine her relinquishing the crown anytime soon. Fresh off a spectacular season that included a huge win down at the IFBB Puerto Rico Pro and a top 10 Olympia finish, Rising 212 powerhouse Alex Cabernero seems to be adjusting to off-season life well. New training footage surfaced of a monstrous looking Cabernero getting in a little bit of late night work as he enters into the early stages of his off-season program. Even with all the depth floating around the 212 division these days, Cabernero's combination of size, shape and aesthetics are still something to marvel at when he's on. And now that he's laid the foundation what could be a promising 2017 campaign, let's see if he can capitalize on this momentum and ride the wave through the rest of this offseason. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.